Hello friends! I'm back at it again, fixing your coordinates. I have no idea what number we're on now, but it's getting high. I have chosen four coordinates today from my topics email. If you are interested in submitting to the series, please check the following information below. I'm not going to repeat it because it's a lot, and for those of you who've been watching all of these episodes, I don't want you to have to sit through or skip it. <laughs> but one thing I would like to mention that's important is please, 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 put fixing coordinates or the word fix somewhere in the subject because when I'm going through my topics email, that's where you can send in your horror stories, just random requests for videos that you think would be interesting or links to reacts. Ew, my finger cracked. Ew. <laughs> so there's a lot of things in that email and for me to go through all of the fixing cords, I usually just search the word fix and then I try to leave off where I last was, like I don't open them when they come to me, I just try to open them when I fix them in a video and then I try to pick up where the last one was. Let's just get started. Okay. Hi Lore, if you see this, I just wanted to say it makes my heart really full to see you helping out other Lolitas like this, whether they be new or experienced. Oh, so sweet. Their main piece is Cradlin Rhett's Transylvania Moonlight JSK in purple, and they insist that it's actually navy in real life. Another controversial color, I see. I actually own this dress while I kind of share it with Holly in the red colorway, so it's a really beautiful dress. And they continue to say, I actually love this cord, especially with my hair. But I don't have that hair anymore. I recently shaved it all off a la Britney Spears taking back my own self-image breakdown. A lot of people have been there. That's that's a kind of a... I haven't gone through that stage in my life yet, but I kind of want to know what I would look like with a shaved head. Um, I did have really short hair for a while, but I get you. I understand. Which I don't regret. And a spoiler, I've already looked at their photos. Their hair is really cute. But I would like to ask, what styles and colors of wigs do you think would work with this dress other than the usual black? I would like to try pastel pink with this or even my real hair. I kind of worry about these colors with a pastel pink because you're gonna want to go for more of like a dusty pink. Like a light pink is fine, but you don't want to do something like this. It's like bubble gum or like shiny. You probably want to look for something that is more of a natural looking fiber just because when you mix a dark piece with pastels, you kind of get into like dangerous Ida area. It's a very difficult thing to do. I'm gonna show some color examples of like a dusty rose. I know for sure um, Peachy Shop has some natural looking more like pink hue wigs that would be right up your alley for this. I also think your hair would be totally cute with this coordinate. I'm not sure if it's still blue, but that blue color is really cute. I think that just to balance it, you can do something like have that bow wrapped around your head or just do really big eye makeup, really big dark lips so that even if there isn't all of this space here, you still have kind of a balance with color. In the last pic, you also show this like t-shirt with safety pins all over it and it's really cool looking and I honestly think that if you took that t-shirt and put it over the JSK and kind of like tied it up in the back to make it like a crop top that's fitted, you could do a really cool punk Lolita look with this. You could even keep the striped tights that you have on, maybe with like some Doc Martens or some Converse, and then your hair. It doesn't look like you have your ears pierced, but there are like clip-on like ear pieces and um, like fake clip-on chains and stuff that you could put on your ears, which would look really cool with this punk cord. If you wanted to go a more aristocratic, elegant, gothic way, this dress would be really cute with um, an underskirt. I can show some examples. And also Holly has this like overskirt that I think would be really cute because it kind of breaks up the pattern and makes the front more of a focused window. So Co other colors for wigs. Hmm. I think that gray would be really cute with this. Yeah. <laughs> the hair color that you have in the last photo, a long colored wig that's like a dark blue would be really cute with this. I hope that gives you some ideas how to coordinate this in more ways. And now a word for this video's sponsor. Today's Fixing Coordinate episode is brought to you by Lens Circle. 
a Canadian-based lens company with all the cute, comfortable, and safe circle lenses you could want. They have a wide variety that are more natural and subtle to very vibrant and enlarging design. You can shop by color, design, and popular series. There is even an exclusive design section with crazy contacts. I think would be perfect for cosplay or even a spooky over-the-top look. Their contacts are superb for adding something extra to your Lolita coordinate or everyday makeup look. In this video, I'm wearing their Twilight series in blue. They aren't too crazy. I wanted to go for something a little less bright because a lot of the other contacts I own are extremely bright. These ones add a nice cool tone to my eyes and make my eyes appear larger. They also sent me a grey pair from their Nudie series that I actually wore in my last React video. Each set of lenses comes with two contacts to make a pair, a care card on how to take care of your contacts, a storage case, and a gift bag. They also carry lenses with prescription. I don't use prescription lenses, so I can't fully review that, but it's definitely worth looking into for those of you who want to ditch your glasses for the day and switch things up with a fun color. Or, you know, if you still want to wear your glasses, you can wear them with a non-prescription lens. Hey, no glasses hate here, I'm just talking options. They ship to me incredibly fast because I'm also in Canada, but they do ship internationally very quickly too. And their prices are quite affordable. Thank you so much, Lens Circle, for supporting my Lolita content. All right, next email. Hello, I've been a fan of your channel for a while now. I saw you were taking submissions for fixing your coordinate series, and I figured I would contribute to it. I'm relatively new to the fashion, but I think I've done my best with what I have so far. As you can see from my picture, the petticoat is the biggest issue. Its shape doesn't match with the dress and is in some cases way too big. You can see too much of its form underneath the dress rather than subtle teacup shape that I was trying to go for. I haven't had the best luck finding a petticoat that fits properly or gives the best shape for the rest of the dress. So it's all a work in progress. Any feedback you could give in regards to the petticoat and the coordinate at large would be greatly appreciated. So I looked up this dress with your links and I thought that the brown border at the bottom was an underskirt, but it looks like from everything I've seen that it's part of the dress. I'm still not really sure because the listing had it was called like skirt and dress. I'm not familiar with this website. Uh, it kind of honestly gave me some reservations because it the website looks a bit questionable. So I'm not sure. Maybe someone in the comments has used it before and trusts it. I'm curious to know. I can see what you mean by the sh you can kind of see the petticoat shape in the dress because the dress looks very large and wide. In my next video, you're going to see that I have a very long, quite heavy dress. And what I did was I have a Wonderwelt, very poofy petticoat. And then underneath it, I have a cage petticoat from Tulu Lolita. So having that wired cage petticoat underneath as a base and then having a big floofy petticoat on top of it creates like a really large sturdy shape and I think that with this dress if you wore that closer to your waist it would create it fill in that space and then it wouldn't have such an awkward shape below because then you're you're filling up the top space and it's just kind of hanging rather than filling up the center and trying to like fill up all that space with petty. I do think that this would be cool in a more casual Victorian kind of style with like a brown hat and maybe no petticoat or maybe like a very small petticoat again at your waist just so it kind of gives that little bit of poof but then is like flowy. This dress looks tricky. I have no idea how in these photos they made it look so massive. Tyler recommended me on Amazon there are hoop skirts that are made for more like bridal dresses so they're really big but you can modify them to the shape that you need and that might be where you find a petticoat that really works for this dress because you can kind of alter the hoop and make it the size and the placement for this dress. More suggestions for this uh, coordinate. I really like the top of it, the top details, so I think that it would also be cute with a bob wig, maybe like a brown bob wig or a, a 
brown and black split bob wig or a curly bob wig just so that you get the hair off of this section and you can see more of the collar details and the ruffles there. Dark sh dark socks with light colored shoes is kind of like a thing in Lolita and some people love it and some people hate it. I've kind of grown to not like it. So to me, I would probably wear a cream colored tight with these gold shoes. Um, again, from Peachy Shop, there's some tights that I have that are cream with a gold print that's um, astrology. And I think that that would be really cute to mix with this. Or if you wanted to keep the darker socks, maybe have a brown shoe to go with the color of your bag or the brown that's in this dress. All right, hi, Lore. I need some help with my first cord. I am a beginner Lolita and this is the first cord I've ever put together. I'm wondering if there are any accessories that could spice up this outfit. I don't have any accessories to go with this outfit, so anything would be cool. I have white wrist cuffs, but I don't feel like they go with the shirt's sleeve length. The sleeves are a little more than three quarters, so I feel like it cuts off an, at an awkward angle. Also, any other suggestions would be highly appreciated as this is my first cord and I would love to find different ways to wear this JSK. This coordinate is really cute. It kind of looks like the I'm not sure if that's an underskirt or a petticoat is kind of slipping out, but I think it's honestly just because of your pose, like you're pulling your arms closer. Yeah, I don't think that that, I think that people might see that as a mistake, but I feel like if in other poses, this probably looks just like a little underskirt. I don't know if you necessarily need wrist cuffs with this type of blouse. Like I'm not wearing wrist cuffs right now um, because you're right, it is like with a princess sleeve. For me, whenever I wear blouses like this that are a little bit shorter, I usually wear bracelets. Tyler also has a lot of cute bracelets from Dolly House, and I have been looking at them and kind of wanting to grab some because they are really cute and they just add a little bit of extra um, decoration to your coordinate. I think that this this JSK would be really, really cute in a country Lolita Accord. I think that if you had a blouse with like a big frilly Peter Pan collar and big poofy, well not big, but short poofy sleeves, and then maybe have your natural hair like curled or kind of like teased up with a boater hat, straw boater hat, and these red shoes are already perfect and maybe bring some more red accessories into it like a red necklace or just some red clips in your hair or in a wig too would be really cute. This print is like perfect for country Lolita. And maybe also have um, your underskirt kind of up more hidden for a country court. Oh, and even some peeking bloomers would be really nice with this. Hello, Lore. I wanted to send this cord to you because while I like some things about it, I think it has a lot of room for improvement. I love this skirt, but I think something about my color balancing is off. I know I should use a bigger headpiece. I was planning a large Victorian updo, but I slept in. Any suggestions? No stock image. I think this skirt is Lily of the Valley, but honestly, it could be anything. I honestly love this coordinate as is. I do think immediately I was thinking that it would be cute with an updo, um, as you mentioned, and I totally understand sleeping in and just going with what you have. <laughs> This would also be really cute with a brown or red bonnet. I'm not even sure if that would exist. If the kind of bonnet that I'm thinking of exists. Maybe, hmm. This coordinate is leaning into a sort of academic vibe. And I think that like a book bag would be really cute with it too. Or of course, I haven't recommended one yet this episode. So a beret be really good with this cord. I think if you braided your hair and like into two braids and then put a beret on it with maybe a clip, one of, there's already clips in your hair that would work. I think this would also be really cute with some Oxford shoes that kind of end at the ankle with then some frilly socks. It would kind of bring this lacy underskirt into your shoes and would just add a little bit of extra cuteness. I also think that it would be cool to look at maybe some of your local antique stores or vintage shops and look for vintage hats because I think that that's another place where you could bring more of this kind of antique bookstore style into it. If you have any advice for any of these wonderful Lolitas, please leave it in the comments below. I love to hear from other people with other style and see what their thoughts are too, and it could definitely help them out as well. If you would like to submit your coordinate, check out the description below. And as always, stay lovely.